I say I'm rooting for everybody black. When I say I'm rooting for everybody black. When I say I'm rooting for everybody black. Congratulations, Sanetta. Great job, bro. Great job. Congratulations, Sanetta. Great job, bro. Great job. Come on, cousin. Up the mantle, man. You know, there's a future for Israel, the youth in Israel. This brother's a perfect example of the youth in Israel. So I salute you, man. And all the elders that be hating on you, man, to hell with them. I'm 30 years old, so I'm the current ruling priest. I want you to understand that. So I salute you, man, and all the elders that be hating on you, man, to hell with them. I support you. So I salute you, man, and all the elders that be hating on you, man, to hell with them. I support you. He's, he said he's hitting. No, you said again. To see the power coming down. <laughs> are you ready to see? Are you ready to see the power come down? Well, then bow yourself down before the men that stand before you. No, bow down. Bow down, man. Well, then bow yourself down before the men that stand before you. No, bow down. Bow down, man. Well, then bow yourself down before the men that stand before you. No, bow down. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, sincere shalom to you other elders, you Akim, you brethren, you followers of this truth. And let me say shalom to the elect. I want to go in this video here, uh, which is inspired by a comment uh, that a brother sent me um, a faith booster and this is to all of um, the great millstone prophets in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah of course <laughs> it's all through the spirit of the Lord um, and I was very excited about the comment but it's not just this brother <clears throat> I received quite a few comments in the past on my other channel and I'm sure other brothers have as well I'm not this is not a proud statement um, even the apostles who through the Spirit of the Lord has woken me up you know and um, they just used to it so they're just doing a service and that's all I'm doing that's all we're doing and um, I wanted to kind of fuse this in with this uh, video um, with Sanetta, Sakari, and you know Maccabees TV, and um, the awards, uh, um, awards ceremony, and so forth, you know. So um, this, ex what you see here is pure entertainment, and that's what it is. It's just pure entertainment. Now you have unrighteous entertainment and you you have righteous distractions to a degree like when i was first came in the truth i saw the video of great millstone and i got distracted from other things and i hey i said hey i this group is real right here it wasn't flattery you know it wasn't all about money it was never an issue although um Money, money is defense and it helps the body, but that wasn't the whole issue. And um, before I go further, I'm going to try to read the um, comment. I don't know if I'll get all of it. Uh, this brother, Judah, 1969, he was following uh, ISPK for a minute. And, you know, ISPK is exciting. They're entertaining, so to speak. You know, when, they, when they're out on the hedges and cursing out people 
especially when you see the um, inconsistencies of society and how you are treated and how you understand who this man is and how he gets down. You see somebody standing up, but all of us are out there, but they're out there and their microphones and you see somebody getting cut. It's just pure entertainment and they don't even really read a lot of scriptures, <laughs> but it's all about truth. And this is, again, this thing with uh, priest Daniela said that, I don't care what the elders hate on you. I, I can't understand this. I'll get to the uh, comment in a second. I also can't understand that this man, Sakari, of 30 years old, says he, he exalted himself to be the priest. And Apostle Tahar was too old. But then you have Barak of HODC. He's a, a little up in age himself. Priest Daniela. I mean, if he's 50, he got to retire. I mean, I don't see nobody saying anything or pulling his card on that. Apostle Tahar of all, well, that's because GMS, and this is what I'm going to get into. No matter what, we're not even in the mix, but they put us in the mix. Uh, anyway, he couldn't say Barack. Barack has to step down. I'm the new priest. And, I've, and, I've, and if I'm not mistaken, he's the HODC is the head over him. And that unity thing. Anyway, the brother says, um, before I started listening to GMS, I noticed Aisha BK would have talk shows. And some was some Christians, but most of it was the so-called black conscious community. So I'm like, okay, one, may, one or maybe two debates, but this was an on and on. And to my surprise, they would invite them to their place where they would teach and have class, which I didn't know that. So they invited them into the class. Okay, why why invite heathen Israelites to class unless they are willing to learn and not debate and not believe the word? This is when I was like, there has to be a group that's surely teaching and not in for fame or filthy lucre. Right. He also says, I remember I should be K used, um, used to call y'all, um, call out y'all. I said GMS dealing with heathen, heathen woman. They would show pictures of your elders taking pictures with them. But I knew even Israelite men of old who would deal with heathen women. So I didn't understand why they, why I should be K made a big deal about it. Right. And he goes on to talk about um, how they deem pit bulls as bad dogs, but he wound up raising some. Then he says, um, uh, and to say that listening to GMS not only resonated with my spirit, I realized GMS was not out for the fame and popularity, just the word. So I dropped I should be K like a bad habit. Now I'll say this. Um, you know, a lot of people say we're trying to camp bang and whatever else. The brother just realizing the truth. And that's what it's all about. It's, it's not, well, we say GMS, Great Millstone, right? Which is the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Yahweh Shah. So we just say it's, it's a foolproof doctrine. 100% foolproof doctrine is where you learn. And as you'll see, we'll go into the prophecies. Okay? You know, the scriptures in 1 Corinthians says, I think the 10th chapter says you can't uh, drink at the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You can't drink at the, uh, I believe, the Lord's table and the table of devils. So you, you can't do that. But these guys and these uh, award shows, you know, uh, Proverbs, the fourth chapter says, walk not in the way of the wicked. Don't walk in the way of the wicked. You got a man there that supported a guy who shoots up the Bible, right? You got guys there that debate. And the scriptures talking about the uh, murder, debate, deceit, and you know, just constantly wanting to debate guys that just. And how many of them guys woke up? How many of those Jakes woke up? We've converted more people to the Spirit of the Lord than these guys are doing, man. Okay, not that some ain't some ain't coming into the truth, but they ultimately will come into the truth, man. You know, some will come into Sakari, some will come into IHBK, IUIC, 
right? We're not making a, a camp denomination, so to speak. What we're we, we saying, it's a, it's a doctrine. And as I said before, these guys are all in this uh, black conscious community. They're the unity camps, and I support you, brother. Some believe in the, the mark, the the, uh, the chip. Some don't. So when somebody comes up and say, "Hey, what is Revelation 13 talking about?" One say, "Well, we believe is this." Others say, "Well, we believe is that." Well, we'll see in due time when the Lord reveals it. That's because He's not dealing with you on that level. Matthew 13 says He's He's is given to you, talking about the elect, to know the mysteries. It ain't given to nobody else. And then with all of that, Sarnetta is the one that says GMS is the most sincere, the most honest. Which proves that's why we're not there. Because we're the most honest. We would not be sitting in there in an award show. We're all about the Bible, man. We're all about the work. Anyway, let's go to John 10 and 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Why would he say a thief and a robber? Because a thief and a robber comes in to steal. And that's why he goes on to say the thief comes to, but to steal and kill and destroy. That's going to you jakes. You know, you're coming in to rob the elect. This man is sitting here with the, uh, the so-called star of David, the, the star of uh, Baal or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I understand that. Okay, he has a star, it's a shield, whatever. You know, which we don't pretty partic particularly get into that. Right? But they're standing there holding the shield, right? And then he, he got, um, what's his name, Divine Prospect, who says everybody can make it. He says the people in that land, <laughs> that's another video, they can make it. Or it's not them, but the other people, or whatever. You know, you got to watch what you say now. But basically, he says everybody can make it. I hear Sakari in the beginning talking about, uh, for all my black people, this is all an act, man. Right? It says, but he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Right? To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by, by, by name and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him and they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers. Right? So this is why, you know, a lot of, a lot of you Jakes, when that time come, Right, the Lord is only first of all, the Lord is only dealing with the elect. Okay, they're not going to listen to that madness, man. They're not going to listen to that madness. Okay, uh, it's just crazy, man. This is Matthew 23 and 1. It says, Then spake Yahweh shot to the multitude to the disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore, whatsoever they do, bid uh, all, all therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, right? Because they're putting on a front. But do not ye after their works, right? So they might say, go into the story of Maccabees and go into the Bible and break down some history and know some things. But then that's why the scripture says a lot of these scriptures go to Israelites. These people uh, honor me with their mouth and with their lips, but their heart is far from me. They're not considering Yahweh Bashim Yahweh up in there, man. Okay? Um, now, how many times are you going to go into Sanetta and try to convince him to be an Israelite? And then he gets on you guys with the Bible. <laughs> anyway... Um, for they say and do not, for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them uh, with one of their fingers. 
but all their works they do for the be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge their borders of their garments and love the up, uppermost rooms of, at feast and the chief seats of the synagogues. Okay? These are these guys, man. I mean, I could read the whole Matthew 23 chapter, 23rd chapter. On these guys. And again, I'm not doing a video on these guys out of hatred. These brothers out of hatred. Everybody think um, I think priest Daniela said, you know, the, the elders, they hate on you. What elders? You know who you're talking about. You see what I'm saying? This is what they do. They're not honorable. Now, I have no problem with priest Daniela or even Sakari. I mean, you know, as far as his, his behaviors, yes, I have a problem with what he's doing. Right? Right? I have a problem with that wickedness that he pulled out his hat. But I don't know him. You know? But we can see the slickness of these guys. How one minute they, they salute you and act like they care for you. And secretly on those cameras, you know, they're throwing out those sly, slick words. You know, and there's Jake that's not falling for that, man. There's Jake that's not falling for that. There's a couple um, other brothers. Um that you may see here one who was a follower i believe of iuic um with the screen name um like which i can't really say uh but he was a follower of iuic he's woken up to the madness and the other brother who recently uh started following us i, I don't know where he followed but for that to be said we we, we continue to work man we continue to do videos we continue to expose fraud and wickedness in the truth. You know, we consider it to um, prophesy. We go out every week. We teach. We just go to work. You know, it's a laborious job. But that time to rest and party, it ain't yet. <laughs> but they not at a, you know, they're at an award show for the black community. And you see, and this is why the Lord is doing what he's doing to the black community. You not look, the Israelites that's in these black communities, they're not going to be saved through Sanetta. Good job, Sanetta. Good job. They're not going to be saved through him. They're only going to be saved through the spirit and power of Yahweh Yahushai through his men who's teaching, man, the truth. This is crazy, man. But, you know, it's those dollars. That's what I believe. Anyway, that's all I have on that, Shalom.